here, I just wanted to share with you some of my slow cooker recipes. I am using a three quart slow cooker. I will be making chili, cheesy burger, sloppy joe, cilantro chicken, Italian meatballs, and Salisbury steak. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy! These are freezer meals. I use one gallon freezer bags and I like to put it in my crock pot while I'm prepping them because it makes it easier to make sure I don't overflow my bags or my crock pot. First is the cilantro. We will be putting cilantro in other things than just the chicken. Two limes. I don't mind the pulp in mine. And we'll go ahead and put half of our bunch of cilantro in. Chicken broth will be our next ingredient. Some black pepper, half a teaspoon. Never really taste the pepper anyway. And then two tablespoons butter. And broccoli to this later, serve it over rice. This is two pounds of chicken breast. You can use any kind of chicken cut you want. You can use bone in. I like to slice the chicken breasts in half. I did uh, wash my knife between using different meats and vegetables because salmonella is gross. None of my meals are gonna be in the freezer for longer than a week, so I don't worry about pre-cooking anything. Spaghetti and meatballs, so let's get our sauce in the bag so we have a place to put our meatballs. I drain my can of tomatoes before I put it in so it's not so liquidy. I'm adding parsley, I am just shaking it in. I am not measuring. And oregano. I go heavy on the parsley, a little lighter on the oregano. Really, it's up to your own taste. I'm gonna actually go pick some fresh basil from my garden. One pound of ground beef. One egg. A few shakes of onion. Or you can do fresh onions. One cup of breadcrumbs. Or as much to make them not too sticky. This is how I submerge them all entirely into my sauce so that they don't stick together. And get out as much air as you can. Salisbury steak! Let's put in our liquid ingredients first. French onion soup. You can do canned or you can do dry. I am doing dry. Okay. So I'm gonna do half of this bottle of water. It's 16.9 fluid ounces. Ketchup. That's probably a quarter cup. I love Worcester, so I'm gonna eyeball it and put in probably more than it recommends. Ground mustard. I'm gonna use half of a teaspoon. Be a rounded teaspoon. That's fine. And that is our sauce. And now we're gonna make our. Salisbury steak patties. Pound of ground beef. One egg. A third cup breadcrumbs is not going to be enough, so I am going to go ahead and do nearly a full cup. I can kind of eyeball it. And we'll do a little bit of dried onion. So 
just do what we did with the meatballs, make sure they are fully coated. And then I like to stack them kind of on the side, like this, you'll see. But as long as they're coated, they should not stick. of this water. Don't push your patties down too hard because you do not want them to get smushed together. Make chili right now. It was a can of corn, a can of pinto beans, a can of black beans, and a can of diced tomatoes. All drained, about 15 ounce cans. A pound of ground beef. A seasoning packet. Okay, for Cheeseburger Joe, you need one pound of processed cheese product, and I'm just gonna cube it. cheese is in. I like these optional things that I add. I add black beans, diced tomatoes, can of, and I'm going to go ahead and add our cilantro that I had left over. Black pepper, half a teaspoon. 